Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So on this channel, I cover a lot of computer science papers and cutting edge research. And part of my motivation is to inspire and encourage other people to do the same. But why should you? Why should you try to read papers or keep up with cutting edge research? I want to make a quick video to go over that. What do we even mean by research? It can be a spectrum, but for the purposes of this video, let's just say that anything beyond currently established best practices in the industry is research. And you should be curious and interested because it's a grand intellectual journey and it will expand your mind. But you're probably wondering how doing this might help your career. If you look at the way technology moves forward, it's a bunch of S-curves one on top of the other. And there is a lot of empirical evidence that the duration over which each of these S-curves is spread out is becoming shorter and shorter. Which means that however you're operating today, whatever knowledge you have today, whatever best practices you're using today, will probably become obsolete very likely within the span of your career. And keeping up with bleeding edge research gives you a bit of an inkling as to what that next S-curve could be so that you're not totally surprised and could possibly even insulate your career against those kinds of rapid changes. Historically, if you look at the way that research from academia filtered down to industry, it typically took two to four days decades for that to happen. If you look at things we take for granted today, virtual machines or garbage collection, even basic things like structured programming, they all took a very, very long time before they were accepted into mainstream industrial programming. But today, if you look at fields like machine learning or computer vision or natural language processing, this cycle is now down to years instead of decades. Now, why that's happening is a topic for another video, but it is getting much faster. So try and skate to where the puck is going to be. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much.